Hello everyone and Happy New Year. So it's 2018 February, I believe today is the 17th. So here in the Northeast, um, it's been pretty cold. Actually, we got about four inches of snow last night. But I heard on Wednesday it's going to get up to 71 degrees. Um, soon we'll be in March, April, in the spring, and then we'll be back to uh, full-time um, aerial uh, video and photography. So if you watch some of my other videos, I had several GPS video-related drones. I had the Autel um, X-Star Premium. I had the Unique uh, Q500 4K. I had the uh, Maverick Pro. Um, I've sold all those and the main drone I'm using right now until the Mavic Pro with the bigger sensor comes out is the uh, Xiaomi 4K. Now this is a sub $500 drone. It doesn't shoot. Um, it shoots in 4K 30 frames per second. Um, for the sub $500 price, sometimes on sales you can find it for a sub $400 price. I, I think it shoots amazing video. Um, there were some quality issues in the beginning with some owners, but I think those are all getting resolved. Um, there are numerous uh, firmware updates that are being released with, um, with uh, updates for uh, available uh, shooting options and camera settings. So this drone actually gets pretty good range. I've seen videos where they've gotten seven kilometers, um, you know, three plus miles. Um, where I live, it's not in the heart of the city, but there's a lot of Wi-Fi interference in the area. Um, so I've gotten as far as I'd say about a mile, mile and a half uh, on good clear days. So. As far as I know, there's nothing official as far as any type of range boosters. So I've always had luck with uh, parabolic antennas on my other drones. Um, so I did see another video, so I'm not taking credit for this. Um, but somebody actually did make a parabolic uh, antenna for the Xiaomi Mi, Xiaomi Mi drone. So here's the controller. And this is how it usually folds up. And then when you fold it, you slide these, and then the optimum position is to have it down like this. So the flat panel antennas are facing out. Okay, so what I did is, just as a trial, I went on eBay or one of those related sites, and I bought a $7 parabolic antenna that was made for a DJI Phantom 3 or 4. Of course, it wouldn't fit the way it came. So what I did, and not very pretty, is I, I hollowed out these holes so that it would fit the Xiaomi. So let's do that again. I had that backwards. Okay. So I actually hollowed out the holes a little too large. So what I usually do is I put a piece of tape at the ends so this doesn't fall off. Um, but to say the first time I tried this, um, using this antenna, I, I was able to get another couple hundred yards um, working in the same area that I usually um, fly in. So like I said, it's very cheap. Um, just take your time when you're when you're when you're using these uh, a Dremel or a file to make uh, these holes fit. Like I said, I made mine a little too large. So if I were just to hold this, the antenna will fall right off. So like I said, what I do is I usually take a piece of tape, one piece of clear tape, and I put it over the end or I'll take a rubber band and wrap it around the end and that keeps it in place pretty good. So just a uh, quick cheap idea to try and get a little bit more uh, flight distance from the Xiaomi. 
thank you for watching and give a thumbs up if you uh, like the video. Thank you.